play with us Yeah, the clip is the best in the West I don't care that you ain't your best Took your poison, I got one shot It's your head or your neck I'm talking my shit You can fuck up our refs in the tank I'ma get in your face And say that you ass, little nigga I hope you upset And now that you mad I need you to play good I want you at your best And I'm the villain I'm the Freddy Krueger of the league You better not sleep or rest The clip is back We want the smoke We want the king Taking the throne We on the mission We taking it home We never lack you ain't taking it home Bring it back to LA again But make sure the Lakers don't win again I'm talking my shit again I'ma go in and get boosted Adrenaline, bitch, I'm the villain, little nigga, let's go! You already know the vibe! Like to welcome you to the end. Let's check out Indiana. So Memphis will get the first possession. Kicks to Adams. He dishes it to Wells. Six to shoot. Back to Adams. Brooks, left side. Adams, here's the fast break. Wells leading the way. Ball stolen. On up the court. Throws down the breakaway jam. In the flick of a switch going from defense to offense. Well, just terrific anticipation to force the turnover and ignite the break. Now, here's Wells. Here's the lob to Adams. And Adams with the slam. Well, the New Zealander shows a little hops on the alley-oop. Pass to heel. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Heald's got his first two points of the night. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. The shot's good. Uh, Steven Adams as well as they like, so this time around, they're going to try to close the lane off. Push driver. He's covered by Wells. Out to Taylor. Shoots the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. And that now here's Wells. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Out to Brooks. Launches a three. Memphis with a new shot clock. It's good. That's now eight points for... He kicks it to Wells. Back to Adams. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. By Wells. And they pick up two. For Memphis, they've gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. to the inside. Here's Adams. And he banks in the lane. Adams has got 12 in the game. Oh, man. Off to a terrific start. Yet to miss with six made buckets. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. You look at Chicago. And, of course, the Pacers. And seeing where Indiana is, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level you know it's got to be frustrating for them greg you can't dwell on the past you've got to think forward work together and brooks kicks to wells 
Clock at six. To the middle. To end the cold streak. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. By Wells. Looking for Adams, he gets it there. And it's sent back by Turner. And he's able to get it back. Jackson kicks to Wells. Down low, got a piece of it. Adams, it's good again in an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. Well, Stephen Adams increasingly making himself a factor on the offensive end night after night. Feeds it to Turner. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And that one falls for Turner. Well, the athleticism that Miles Turner brings to the center spot is quite remarkable. This guy, an exceptional player on both sides of the floor. So one for two that time at the strike. And Adams has got the ball here for the Grizzlies. Trailing by two. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah. Oh. Oh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. And Adams with the slam. Make no mistake, an intimidating seven-footer. Steven Adams gets the space he needs and finishes with ease. Kicks it to Turner. Healed outside. Back to Turner. Healed outside. There's the triple. Basket made. That's his third of the game. He's three for nine now. I'll tell you, he's in a rhythm and playing with purpose. Great first quarter. Even better in the second. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Grizzlies have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Wells passes to Adams. He's two up. Now he is nine of ten. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Wells with the steal. And now Wells pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Yep, that one goes. And now it's a three-point Memphis lead. Now that's a great move to get to the hoop. Awesome finger roll finish. Out to Turner. And again the turnover by the Pacers. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Well, what did them in was all the missed free throws. It could have been a much different outcome. I thought, Greg, the frustration at the line was evident. And it makes it easy on the defense when you're not capitalizing once they put you at the free throw line. Now Wells to the paint. Here's Adams. At the top of the key, Wells. On the wing, Brooks. Pass to Wells. Down to five on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. And that one drops for him. Adams has got the lead up to five now for Memphis. Oh, great ball movement there. Guarded by Wells. Healed outside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, we all know Heal can shoot it, but for him to get better, he's got to keep adding different dimensions to his game. Indiana shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Heal. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Smith checked in for Indiana. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Wells' shot is good. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the Grizzlies on a fast break. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Three. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. And what an alley -oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Indiana's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Oh, Turner in position. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Well, Kevin, if you find the defense sleeping, Miles Turner has the length and athleticism to make that look easy. Now, here's Wells. Tight defense on him. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Pacers trail by 11. And it, for Indiana, they've gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Yeah, he just missed. Pacers trail by seven. To the middle. Got that bucket. Jacks up a three, gets it to go from beyond the arc. Now just a two-point Grizzly lead. Now a timeout. Separate. It's three on three on the fast break. There's the lob to Jackson. Hammers the alley -oop through. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finishing transition, nice and easy. Pacers trail by six. Inside. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Glenn. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. You can see Turner evolving as a passer. He wants to set his teammates up. That's a pretty look. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. Grizzlies have shot 70. Outside, Taylor. Outside, Turner. Five to shoot. Goes up on the high post. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Brooks kicks to Wells. To the wing on the left. Pass to Adams. Outside Jackson. Three-pointer. Cans it from down. On the wing, heel. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Heel. Kicks it to Turner. Has to heal. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. This will be his third free-throw shot of the game. Good six. Covered by Wells. That ties the game. He's got 19. To take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys... Brooks. Right side, Jackson. Over Taylor. 
And there's Jackson on the assist by Brooks. Brooks has got his third assist on the night. Pacers three by four. To the middle. That's down. Some nice passing here by Indiana, and they good. But still, eventually you gotta feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Now here's McConnell, D right on him. Tries from seven. Again, Indiana. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen, Greg, great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Now, here's Wells. Count it, and the Pacer lead has been cut down to just one on the bucket from Clark. You, you gotta know, this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. Here's Taylor. The pass to McConnell. Spiked away! Well, uh, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Wells' shot is good. Well, this guy flat out. Now Wells down low. Here's Clark. Well timed pass and he goes straight to the Buckacers. Can't get it to go. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Offensive rebound. And that... To the paint, here's Clark, and then Clark slams it in. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Has to heal beyond the arc. Good, and McConnell gets the assists. McConnell's got six assists in the game. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Now here's Wells. Right wing. Fires for three. A three-pointer is right on target. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on room to operate on the offensive end. Here's Smith. Who's checked in for Smith? And so it's Indiana with it. To the middle. Turner trying to free himself. You're not in rhythm with the three ball. Why do you keep firing from there? That one's good. And the Grizzly lead cut down to one in the bucket from Heel. After taking some time to find his rhythm, he's been unstoppable since the break. Out of bounds. Indiana takes possession. And he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. Inside. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. They trail by three. Three-pointer healed. And that one is off. And it's Memphis the other way. Wells kicks to Adams. Passes it to Wells. To the middle. Just five to shoot. Outside for Jackson. Drills the three-pointer. Now it's a six-point Grizzly lead. We'll get this. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. Now here's Wells. After the miss from Buddy Heal. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus, even as the game's their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Out to the right wing. Nailed from three-point land. 
What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Adams, Adams has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. And wasted no time on that one. Wells has got the lead up to 12 now for the Grizzlies. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Indiana moving the ball around. Gets an open look and hits. 23 points in the game. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They are definitely not losing because of him. From deep. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triples. Guarded by Wells. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Adams has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Pass to Wells. Buries it from three-point range. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. That's the dividing line in this game. The deep three from Wells. And again, it's Memphis with the three. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Wells wide open. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up every... 20. Let's it go with a three. Tillman. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. The pass to Tice. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. 25 points in the game. Dishes to Wells. Launches it. Trains the three-pointer. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question, GA. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Here's Vitadze. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They get it again. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. Uh, Greg, you have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. That one is off. And he's good on the second. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. He's guarded by Wells. Out to the right wing. Vitadze with the bucket. Here's Wells. Well, this one is winding down now. Memphis can watch the clock run out. again from distance buries his 10th triple of the game unbelievable so no problem for memphis as they get the win they won this game going away they were the better basketball team by far tonight and you got to commend this sort of dominance particularly here at home it's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up well folks that's going to do it for now for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.